Alicia Navarro has been located. Missing for nearly four years, Alicia Navarro has been found. She is by all accounts safe, she is by all accounts healthy, and she is by all accounts happy. Glendale police say within the last few days, Alicia, now 18 years old, went to a police station in a small town in Montana, close to the Canadian border, identifying herself, asking for help in clearing her off a missing juvenile list. How did she get to Montana? We don't know yet. The search for Alicia started in September of 2019, when the then 14-year-old disappeared from her Glendale home just days before her birthday. She left a note behind saying she ran away, she was sorry, and she would come back. Alicia, I love you if you're looking at this. Please come home. Five days after Alicia went missing, her mother's desperate search was already well underway. She said her daughter was on the autism spectrum. You swear you were going to come back. Please come home. It's been almost four years of agony, four years of billboards, flyers, press conferences, and prayers. But Jessica Nunez finding out Wednesday her daughter is alive. I don't have details, but the important thing is that she is alive. In addition to this statement, Nunez also sharing these video clips on social media released by Glendale Police. Did anybody hurt you in any way? No, no one me. They show a small part of a 20-minute FaceTime call between investigators and Alicia, one of many calls they say they've recently had with her. Thank you very much for talking with us. Of course. Thank you. Thank you for offering help to me. Police also releasing a recent photo showing what Alicia looks like today. To us, she is a victim, and we need to provide services to her, whether that be uh, mental or just health-wise or just helping her get her life back in order. When asked if Alicia was with anyone when she left Arizona, where she's been staying, and who, if anyone, she's been with, officials said they still don't know. And even though they've found Alicia alive and well, this investigation is not over. As much as we'd like to, to say this is the end, we know this is probably only the beginning. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.